Hello, everybody. My name is Carrie, and welcome to Degrassi Corner. And today is going to be a sad episode. This is even sadder than Degrassi getting canceled by Teen Nick or getting canceled by Netflix. DHX Media, the company who owns Degrassi, has entered into an agreement of purchase and sale to sell a building it owns on Bartley Drive in Toronto. Now, you know what 220 Bartley Drive is, right? That is the set of Degrassi. DHX Media is selling the set of Degrassi for $12 million. And they say that the sale is, quote, part of the company's ongoing strategic shift to focus and streamline its operations. I'm sure I'm one of the very few people who's nerdy enough to somewhat pay attention to what DHX Media is doing from a business standpoint from time to time. But one of their big goals in 2019 is to focus on paying down their debt. So they're going to be using this $12 million to help do that. I get it, man. Business is business, but boy, does this hurt. Degrassi has been operating at 220 Bartley Drive since the beginning of the next generation. There's almost two decades of memories there at that location. We don't really know much details about the sale except for the fact that they're selling it for $12 million and the deal is supposed to close on June 6th of this year. Don't know who the owners are and don't know their plans for this location. In one of the real estate listings we found last year, there was a mention of DHX wanting to do a lease back, but don't know if that's happening or not. The set of Degrassi is located in an industrial area. So we don't know if another company is going to come in and continue to use it as a studio or if they're going to use it as a business office location or a warehouse. Don't have the slightest clue about what's going to happen. Hopefully there's some more information to come in the coming months. However, this still falls right in line with my belief that if Degrassi is to come back at some point within the next several years, I wouldn't be surprised if it looks completely different than anything we've ever seen from Degrassi. New characters and now seemingly a new set. If any more information comes about, I will keep you updated on that. I'm just going to sit here and do a little mourning. There's been a lot of Degrassi fans, myself included, who have had the opportunity and privilege to visit the set of Degrassi and see what the show was like behind the scenes. And unfortunately, there's a lot of fans who never had the opportunity to do that. And there are fans who will now probably never get the chance to do that. To me, that's kind of sort of the most disappointing thing, I think. Also, DHX, this is for you. Um, if you're trying to move out of there, you want to make some more money, you might as well go ahead and start selling everything Degrassi-related that you have left currently on the set. There's some good money to be made trying to get that sign that sits in front of the school. You got any thoughts about the sale of the set of Degrassi? Leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Also, subscribe to Degrassi Corner for all sorts of random Degrassi scuff. Not scuff, stuff. Keep you updated on whatever Degrassi news comes our way these days because there really isn't a lot of that. And also, probably going to get back into some Degrassi commentary stuff here in the near future. Thanks again for listening, and I'll catch you on the next one.